I've got two of the sticks lionesses that have ended up being in the middle of a thicket. I don't know where the third lioness is with all the cubs, but definitely these two yeah well these two females are stopping and listening and looking it is windy so maybe they are hearing things and they could potentially be waiting for the cubs maybe the cubs have fallen behind a little bit there was tracks for them around so i was hoping that they would be here but you can see they've stopped and they've looked they looking much better the sticks than the last time I saw them. Is a Nami you wondering what the sticks are doing in the Inkuma's territory? Well, they're not in the Inkuma's territory at all. The Inkuma's territory lies to the north of us and to the west of us. This has been sticks territory ever since I can remember. They've always moved around on this right on the southern boundary. They don't go far north into Juma, but they do go towards Twin Dams, and you'll often find them in the southeastern corner. Going is almost impossible. It is very dense, very thick, and not at all easy to negotiate. But we shall certainly try and see if we can't keep up with them. It's not going to be easy, though, I can tell you. So at least we got a glimpse of them. If they do disappear, it's at least a small glimpse of the two of them, although they're lying down right here, which is fantastic, actually. One is lying down. The other one is still moving slightly. There we go. Is one of the lionesses, she's just on my right. You can hear, listen, they're contact calling. Whoa. Whoa. So they're calling the cubs and the other female. I'm not sure how many cubs they've got because there was reports that there was a new litter, but we haven't seen them since then. So the last time we saw the six pride, there were six cubs. There was four younger ones and two older ones. So hopefully they'll come bounding out of the bush shortly. Now you see it's just soft calls to tell the cubs, come on, we're waiting for you, or to tell the other female we're here, come find us. She doesn't want to make a full-blooded roar because that will attract the attention of males and potentially females that could be close by that might be from a rival pride like the Inkulumas so it's soft contact calls just to get the cubs and the other female to come here now hopefully Tumba is listening very carefully and is hearing this and is going to move off slightly Riedel you want to know how we recognize the sticks well Riedel they are a lot older well this particular line is we're looking at now she's much older than most of the Inkulumas and for me the sticks just have a different look. Look, she's stalking. She's stalking. Here come the cubs. Look. There's going to be a bit of playing. There comes one of the cubs. Oh, look at that. Isn't that magnificent? Look how happy she is to see them. So even though she's a big adult lioness, she's taking just as much joy in being able to see her cubs and a little bit of playing around as well. So, Marino, back to your question is how we ID them. For me, she, this particular female is quite tatty. She's got tattered ears. She's got a much older look about her. There she is. And they have a very different face to what we see from the sticks. I mean, from the Nkumas. The Nkumas have a much more, for me, much more squared off jaw than what I see on the, the sticks prior. The sticks tend to have a longer muzzle in sort of my mind. Also the fact of where they occur, the sticks are generally in the southern portions and there's only three of them so when we find tracks of the three of them and the cubs, oh look at this playing. <laughs> you must be careful little one. Mom's patience won't last all the time. Oh look at this guys, isn't this wonderful? We are being so spoiled at the moment. It's late in the morning but yet we're still getting playful nature by them and i'm wondering where the rest of the cubs are you can see the cub is still biting mom so mom's trying to ignore it but the biting will get so more and more and sore and sore and eventually she'll have to start now the franklins are alarm calling quite a bit so i would imagine that the rest of the pride is slowly but surely filtering through now and we should see more of them arriving 
which means that hunting session for now is over. As soon as they start vocalizing like this, they're no longer looking to be hunting extensively. They're more just wanting to kind of spend time resting now. And there we go, you can see they're lying down. So, oh, little cub, you're being very cheeky. How cool was that when the two of them were playing and she was jumping around now, look, a bit of grooming from the little one. Oh, and rubbing up. And like I say, they are looking a lot better. The last time we saw them, which I don't know how many weeks ago that was, it's on the mangy side. They did, which were showing a bit of symptoms of mange. And so for those of you who don't know what mange is, oh, there's the other adult lioness. Let me just go forward a little bit. Um, Symptoms of or mange is basically a mite that occurs in the hair follicles. Look how she's sniffing. Wow, that's a beautiful picture of her in the long grass with the light behind her sniffing. And so mange occurs on them and it causes them to itch and they get these little bald patches. So they were presenting some signs of mange, but it seems as though that all has cleared up a little bit and they're looking a lot better than the, the last time we saw them. So a good couple meals maybe and they've certainly come right now. But look how she's just watching. She's still sniffing. So this must be the female that we saw originally stalking because of the way that she is at the moment. And there's the two playing still. I wonder where the rest of the cubs are. Just given that there's only one here, there must be another older cub with them somewhere. Sorry, my girl, we parked in the way. It's going to go over. There comes the other one. But they're looking as though they've had a meal in the last day or two. There certainly is a lot of bulge. And you can see this female that's coming now is a female that must have fairly new cubs because you'll see now as she comes past that her teats are hanging quite extensively. So I wonder if she doesn't have newer cubs because that's a lot of milk. I know there are the four younger cubs, but they are already quite old in comparison so maybe she's got new cubs that'll be quite cool to see those are definitely teats that have got a lot of milk in them I'm just trying to see the other lioness that's behind us she should get up now and start walking as well what is interesting is that there's no other cubs have emerged yet so we've got not seen any others coming through I wonder if this female's waiting for the rest of the cubs to arrive because she's just lying next to us and still looking in the way that the rest came nope small this morning because one lioness or two of the lionesses look as though they're quite healthy and full there they go striding down the road right so let's turn around so we can keep up with this lot what an epic morning birmingham males sticks pride tumba i've just had a report that mvula has just crossed into juma as well so it's just chaos here this morning which is fantastic for us i'm not complaining in any way shape or form are you said no i don't think so <laughs> I said saying no. Right, now I'm going to try and turn around and get with the Sticks Pride and keep up with them and see if we can't find the rest of these little cubbies. While we do that, let's go back to Jamie, who I think is also with lions and a little bit more stationary than ours.